This is a fun way to teach models of the atom. You start off with some tissue paper stretched over a hula hoop, representing the plum pudding model of the atom. The darts fired by the X shot represent the alpha particles passing straight through, which was what Rutherford expected to see in the initial experiment. You can also show this using the great FET simulation, where the spread out positive charge of the plum pudding model would not produce enough force to significantly deflect the alpha particles, and so they pass straight through. Now you can tell students that Rutherford discovered that occasionally an alpha particle bounced back, and ask them how we could adapt our hula hoop and tissue paper model to show this. The answer, of course, is to scrunch up the tissue paper and hang it in the middle, and then it will produce a big enough force to make the dart bounce backwards in the same way that the concentrated positive charge of the nucleus can make a alpha particle bounce back. Now, of course, most of the darts will miss the hanging tissue paper and will pass straight through. But occasionally, you'll manage to aim a dart right at the tissue paper and it will bounce back. This is much clearer from the side. Again, you can use the great FET simulation, this time showing the nuclear model of the atom, which shows that most of the alpha particles pass through without being deflected, but occasionally they go very close to the nucleus and get deflected. You can extend students by discussing how our tissue paper model isn't perfect. For example, the dart has to actually hit the tissue paper rather than pass close to it in order to be deflected. Setting it up is pretty straightforward. You just need to tape your tissue paper to the hula hoop, trim it down, and then tape the remaining edges to the hula hoop. I must finish by thanking physics teacher Matthew Lewis for sharing this great idea, which can make a difficult topic a little bit more entertaining and engaging for students. I hope you found the video interesting.